Hey what up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more CK2 action. Um, as you can see in the top left hand corner, Rob Stark is kind of getting a bit old now. He's 54, which is kind of crazy. And his son, uh, good old Eddard Stark, who's reigning over here in Lannisport at the moment, uh, will soon have to take his place. But, you know, he's a good... He's a good uh, good soldier at the moment he's got 20 marshall and obviously that will increase when he gets ice as well which will be nice as well as that he will hopefully increase his uh, uh school ability so hopefully that'll go up and he'll be a better commander because that really does give you a lot of martial skill but yeah so last episode what happened is we declared war on the iron throne to claim the reach for my wife he will then obviously when she dies uh, it will be inherited to my son so when my wife dies, we will have a whole of this, the Vale, the Riverlands, the North, and the Reach as well. Which will pretty much just mean we can do whatever we want. The Reach give you about 70,000 men, so that should be plenty. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and raise all our men. Uh, apparently that's only 6,000. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and move everyone down. And hopefully we can form up nicely and have some pretty sweet ass battles. So yeah, everyone's forming up there. Did these dudes actually come to war with me? Wow, so that, oh, that's not too good. We should probably move this thousand away into our own lands. So the Riverlands did actually come. I assume the Vale didn't come mainly because they're, all, uh, they're at war with some independence faction. So hopefully they'll sort their lives out pretty soon. And we are actually only fighting... Yeah, by the looks of it, we're fighting the Iron Islands and the Reach and the Iron Throne. So that's it. So yeah, they shouldn't actually have that many men. They should have about, I'd say they'd probably have about 70,000 men at most, if that really. Which is kind of nice. I'm actually going to move this army into the Riverlands territory to like hope that they go ahead and attach their men. Because if they attach their men to this thousand, then it means I can just control their armies. And it'll be nice because I kind of messed up by not levying their troops in the first place. Uh, which wasn't too smart of me. Uh, I should just go ahead and move another 2,000 down here. 9,900. Yeah, let's go. I just want to split these men up into kind of like three armies. And then I can besiege King's Landing, the, the, the High Garden. It's called, yeah, High Garden. Oh, it says uh, High Garden. And then have another one just to kill their armies. So there you go. They got 60,000 there, which is kind of what I assumed they would have. Which is everyone's armies, which is nice. Oh, peasant uprising as well. That's not too good. Blasted traitors. Uh, where the hell? Did, oh, did I get caught? They rose up on my side. What? Yeah, I guess they rose up on my side. Let's try to get them out of there. That'd be nice. Uh, so where even are you? Will it tell me where you are? He should just. Oh, so what do you want? Do you want something? Guess we're gonna have to move them six thousand just to go ahead and deal with them, which will actually be kind of a good idea to do that because they normally try and drop some men behind enemy lines anyway. So that might be a good idea. Let's move up this army as well. So yeah, this army is actually, actually gonna get away, which is nice. Oh well, yeah, hopefully they do actually move all their men onto mine because that'd be brilliant. And this army is actually getting away. Hopefully, it's probably gonna get away. They are taking some casualties as well. Whoa, I did not see that. So let's, we just dropped some men there, so let's quickly... I kind of don't want to leave the men because I'm so old now. But why not? I mean, if I die, then I lose my claim, so it wouldn't be such a good idea. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. I mean, we're unlikely to die in this battle. We have so many men. So it is kind of unlikely we will die. They only have 7,000 men, that should be pretty easy. And these men will go over here. Uh, prepare to die. So I'm actually in battle, and I did kill him. But it's kind of a bit scary, considering how old I am now. I'm actually going to go ahead and attach my men, or at least these 2,000 men, to this 15,000. Because until I can actually go ahead and help them, there's much I can really do. I mean, I'll move this army down to River Run, and then I'll do exactly the same. Uh, with these armies as well. Just need to keep an eye on them. They're actually going to drop some more men there as well. Which I should just be able to intercept as soon as they drop off. Well, I just got defeated over here, I assume. But yeah, as you can see, they've already actually lost a load of men here. 
which is kind of nice. The only thing I'm a little bit scared about happening is this army getting caught by all of that. That would be kind of scary. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and move this army there because they actually dropped 14,000 men in White Harbour. So I should be able to pretty much clear it out fairly easy. But I don't want to let that army just run havoc on my lands. This 10,000 is coming down. Nice. This army should kill that 2,000 with ease and then they'll start moving down. Lovely. So yeah, things are going pretty well at the moment and we should be able to clean up this rebellion very soon. Keep on moving this army down. Why not? So yeah, they're going to go ahead and kill them. Is that actually a river crossing? It is a river crossing. We do outnumber them. We do have better leaders, I'm assuming. Uh, long live the king, or kind of a war with the king. So probably not the best thing. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and merge these dudes. And we'll, we can't link them, apparently. For whatever reason. So yeah, the river's not really going to be too great for us. It's going to hurt us a little bit. Uh, we've got loads of claims on the crossing. We don't want, obviously, don't want that. Any other interesting claims? Crown land claims, which we might actually be a good idea to do. Okay, so that's kind of scary. I'm gonna have to move my men out of there because the riverlands are kind of gonna get caught there. Well, I can't really help them. I'm gonna move my ten thousand to try and help, but I doubt that will do the job and we've won up there in the north which is nice I'm actually yeah I'm gonna leave it at two speed maybe try and get my 2,000 men out of there the riverlands will get caught right here yeah and they won they must have killed one of their commanders in battle or something because you just saw that morale job it was crazy that's insane uh just seeing quickly just checking everything yeah it's all cool oh yeah my 5,000 men up here will be ready to go as well they are crossing a river but Eddard would lead the men to kill the rebellion whilst I'm away. I cannot afford both, well, my son, all my sons to die. See, so we actually, oh, we just won that battle though. That was kind of close. Let's chase it down though. I still can't believe they managed to kill them there. Our 10,000 men can come in as well and support. I might as well change the commanders over here as well. Do we have a flanker who's not already in an army? Uh, not for some time, so that's cool. Uh, I just took a commander out of another army. I'm not quite sure where, though. Centre of here, so that's probably a good idea. I went and had a look. The car stocks have risen up as well to help me, so that's lovely. My 10,000 should get here by the time these two armies fight, but... Yeah, my army should get here. We're almost in uh, Pekdon. We're about to go through Pain Hall and then we're, yeah, we, as soon as we march in, that's another 16,000 killed. Hopefully the Riverlands can just hold off though. Yeah, we are losing Lannis Port pretty heavily. But we are actually winning the battle overall because of just the amount of all the war overall. Because just the amount of battles we are doing. This is going to be scary. So I might die here. But I can't really afford to not. So I'm going to have to fight him. This is scary though. King's Guard. He has more martial than me. And probably... Yeah, I died. I knew I'd die. I thought that was, I thought that was really risky to do. I should have probably taken the, taken the penalty. But, you know, oh well, we died. I need to get rid of this place as well. I guess we can't... Yeah. No. Did not mean to do that. I just created a vassal. Oh well, so yeah, we died unfortunately, rest in peace. Good old Rob, you did a lot. You conquered a lot of stuff in your time, but nonetheless his son will go ahead and honour him and finish the war he started. So who's my wife? Just some random person. Kind of probably should have married him a little bit better. I should also look at my vassals quickly as well, because they probably don't like me. They do still like me a lot, I guess because they like Rob so much. Which I guess was, yeah, that's, that's very good, but they still like me. Uh, why isn't it this war one yet? The Edward will honour his father. Don't you worry. So we're about to go ahead and win the battle here. 
They're going to charge straight back in though with another 19,000. I don't know if my 13,000 will actually get here in time. So I need to give better leaders quickly. I need an inspirational leader. Do I have one? Not any to anywhere so like anywhere high up. That's annoying. I'll just let Morgan leave the center then. Uh, jaw. I don't. I personally don't want to go ahead and fight in this battle mainly because I don't want to die. My son is pretty young. He's only twelve, so I'm gonna quickly decide to educate him. So hopefully I can give him good education. So the armies do clash now. And the left flank seems to be going in our favour. Apparently, for whatever reason, I'm not commanding the men, or am I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're my leaders I put into in charge. I'll clean up that army quickly. 13,000 are coming down. They reinforce, which is a little bit scary, but the morale is hurting. Which is nice. So hopefully we can march in. I don't think we might, we might not even need the reinforcements. Their left flank's gone, their right flank's gone, it's their centre's going to crumble anytime soon. So yeah, that, that went really nicely in our favour. We can end this rebellion uh, yeah, in force. He's now in my prison. He's awful, so I don't really want to release him. And then these armies are going to meet up. Edmir Tully also died. How sad. Oh, he's not Edmir. His father was Edmir, yeah. Hobart Tully also died. Did he die in battle? He obviously died besides me. Beside me. Very emotional. So we're going to go ahead and just obviously finish up taking this because there's no harm in it. And by the looks of it, they're going away. So I'm just going to straight up march on this army of 12,000. Oh, we also need to pick an ambition. Might as well just pick up to win the war. Or ten of dragons egg. That could be quite funny to do. Um, I don't actually have a son, which is a little bit scary. Should probably be doing that. So who's my heir? Who is it? Oh, it's my brother. Brunette. Uh, so let's go ahead and besiege King's Landing. Actually, no. We can probably just get 100% by straight up just taking this back. That's probably giving them how much percent? 16%. So yeah, we can almost take it back. Well, win the war by just taking back Lannisport. I need to split this army up to stop the attrition because 2.3% attrition is going to kind of hurt. Especially as we move further and further through the war. Because we can't really raise any more men whatsoever. But what, for whatever reason, the Tullys are not involved as well. We might as well just go for High Garden. Uh, so hopefully we can call the Tullys back in. Uh, yeah, so hopefully the Tullys will come back in. We're going to march straight on River Run. I mean, High Garden, I should say. Oh, they're defending against the Stormlands. They're trying to make a claim on it as well. So Riverland should come for another couple thousand men. That will definitely help us out. We're now besieging it. Speed things up whilst we besiege. Oh, I also need to educate my sister. Yeah, she's my sister. So let's go ahead and find someone nice. Oh, my mum can do that because her diplomacy skill is insane. 27. How quickly does she get a claim? 19% uh, a year, which is just mad. Uh, I need to educate my brother again. Yeah, it's my brother. I will go ahead and educate him. Get some nice, strong military uh, military people in the family. Will be nice. Because I mean, Edar turned out pretty well. Eight twenty one seven nine two. That's that's fairly good. I'm more than happy for him to do that. Put down a siege leader. Do I? Do I own a siege leader? Uh, apparently not for some time. Not with a decent martial skill. Uh, no. Okay, cool. So I don't have a siege leader, which is kind of annoying. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to leave the centre here. Just because I might as well be the one to take the castle. It's not like we're going to have to fight, so that's, that's cool. I do hold wrong holdings. As soon as we take it, though, that should... Instantly go in our favour. Yeah, you can see Lannisport's giving them like 20%. So we could just literally go take Lannisport. 
also pressed my Jura claims on that. Yes, these people did not want to honour. I oh, know they did honour there. I inherited it. So this is actually mine and not the real land anymore. Oh, because he married my sister as well, my whatever she is now. I have no idea what she is now. We're soon to take High Garden. <coughs> it, it has a crazy defense though. So it's gonna take a long time. But at the moment the Iron Throne isn't doing anything to stop us from just doing anything. So they're not really putting up a, a fight. So we can pretty much just ignore them. <coughs> 